I don't know how you feel, but I would love for the Olympics winter and summer to almost have semi-permanent homes where you could you could alternate, um, you know, every uh, four years, eight years, 10 years, whatever it is. But you could have rotating sites instead of putting the stress on some of these other economies that can't handle it. Your thoughts on that? I think that's such a smart idea. And L.A., I've always said we'd be ready to throw the Olympics literally in two months, and we're ready in two decades. We're not building brand new venues and then hoping that somebody will use them. We're actually asking, you know, the Lakers and the Clippers and where the Galaxy play, can we just have 17 days a decade from now? And so these are active sports facilities that we have. You know, I think cities are are dumb to plan something for 17 days, spend billions of dollars, and then wonder if there's a future. Um, L.A. would certainly be one of those natural hubs if the Olympics ever evolves to that of having, you know, a handful of places around the world. I know Salt Lake City is now looking, Denver mm-hmm. also, but Salt Lake City has all these existing venues that have been continuously used since the 2002 Winter Games. And so, you know, that is makes a lot more sense. And I think you'd bring a lot of the global audience back that right now in most cities is saying we'd love to watch the Olympics, but hell no, we're not going to host it in our city. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.